So I've been running the final version of Android 8 on the on my Galaxy S8 Plus for pretty much a whole day now. Um, compared to Beta 6, for those of you who've been using it, there's not really that much difference, if any at all. Um, maybe the only slight difference I've noticed in the past, well, over the whole of last night really, is smoothness in not only scrolling but pulling down the notifications bar. Um, Beta 6 was smooth as it was anyway, much smoother than previous versions, um, but this just, maybe it's a little bit smoother still, maybe it's placebo, maybe it's, it is actually a bit smoother, I'm not 100% certain, but it certainly feels like it's smoother, um, but as I say, it might just be me, uh, placebo or something like that. Um, I am using all my usual substrata themes, which I'll go over in a minute as well, and I'll cover a few other things. Um, Build number on this one is quite questionable. Um, it does in CRAP, so pff, I guess some some want us to think it's uh, crap, but we all know it's not. Um, but there are going to be loads of jokes about that, and um, a lot of confused people as well uh, when they read about it on articles and other videos and so on. Um, but let's get rid of that for now. Um, so Substratum works perfectly fine out of the box. Swift for Substratum has been updated to support the final version and um, there was a notification yesterday for that and I've applied all the usual themes to uh, to mine and it works really well out of the box. The same goes for status bar icons for Samsung. Um, this has also been updated so I'm using the Pixel 2 style um, look and feel so everything just looks a bit more stock Android-y without being stock Android of course and it just makes it a bit nice to use. The all black theme would be nice, but um, I have heard a few horror stories about the screen burning and so on, so I try to minimize that. Likewise, I also hide my navigation bar just to uh, stop that area from getting too, uh, too screen burny, if that makes sense. Um, the usual stuff, everything works really well. I'm using Nova Launch Prime. Um, performance of everything else works just fine as well. Google Assistant is uh, still there. Um, Android Pay now works fully as well, so that's really good to see. Um, everything's now certified as well under Google Play, so that's, um, that's going to be good news for a lot of people who were on the beta but couldn't use apps like Android Pay because uh, it was showing as uncertified in uh, the beta update. Um, Battery life wise, over the course of the night, too hard to tell so far, oh well, too, uh, too early to tell so far, but it looks like it's going to be getting the same sort of performance as Beta 6 did. Maybe a bit more, I'm not too sure, but 24 hours easily, I can, I can see that happening, no problem at all. Um, I have been rinsing it a bit, so my figures will be a bit skewed. I'll let it do a full charge, um, probably tonight, and... Um, We'll go through the working week and see what that, what that brings about. But so far, so good. Uh, no, we're not on Android 8.1. It is 8.0. Um, but that's not really a bad thing in a way because Samsung usually puts in a lot of extra tweaks and features that stock Android implements maybe a generation or two generation versions down the line. Um, that's one of the benefits of OEM versions of um, Android from people like HTC, Samsung, uh, even LG as well, you get these ingrained features that you don't get in um, stock Android. Stuff like dual audio, where you can output to two soundbars uh, independently, uh, or have multiple devices connected through the Samsung Connect app. Um, you can also get battery status on Bluetooth devices now. So I've got my Jaybird X3s when they're connected. You get a little panel here that pops up, and then you can click on it to... Um, to show the battery status. In fact, if I turn on my X3s right now, I can show you that. Bear with. So, my headphones have just connected. And now you can see the status there of the audio output, and you can select the audio output that you want, whether it's the phone or whether it's the Bluetooth headphones, and if I click on the name of the headphones, you can see the battery status shows as very high. 
Um, so that's nice, nice and welcome to see. You don't have to go into the separate app for that headphone or whatever else you might have to um, see the battery status. So that's really nice. I quite like that. Um, I don't think that existed on Android 7. Uh, at least I never noticed it anyway. I've only noticed it since the uh, later versions of the beta uh, Oreo. Um, apart from that, everything else is much the same as my previous Android 8 beta videos. So well worth uh, installing. I know a lot of people are sort of hesitating installing the over the air update from Android 7 because they like uh, everything they have laid out. There are various differences. Obviously, look and feel is slightly different. Notifications shade is uh, changed as well as some other options. Um, but the performance improvements and the battery life uh, is more or less the same now as well. And the performance is better than Android 7 scrolling, especially. There's less micro stuttering. There's still some there, but less than before. Um, it's more in line with most of the Pixel phones, I'd say. Maybe not 100% 1 1 with. Uh, Pixel's phone in terms of smoothness or lack of micro stuttering, but it's definitely way better. Uh, camera has improved as well, uh, so that's welcome to see. And um, the UI as well is, is a bit better. Um, maybe again, this is probably placebo as well, but image processing on photos taken appears to have been improved as well. And um, you now get a full screen mode on the camera as well, which uh, is quite nice. Um, but do note that when you go into full screen mode or full view, you do limit the resolution of the output picture. So if you go into settings, you can have a look at that. When you select an 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio, the camera is taking pictures at 7.9, 8 megapixels, whereas full resolution is 12 megapixels. So just keep that in mind. If you want to retain the full quality of your sensor, then keep it on the maximum. Um, otherwise, you can get some nice, nice images and it just looks a bit more cooler as well um, in full view. Uh, but apart from that, Android 8 final, it's a go, definitely.